Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can force update the software to Android 12 with One UI 4 using the Flash Room in Odin for your Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra or the Plus or the Galaxy S20. So the first thing we need to do is switch off the device and we need to go to a website to download the firmware so tap on the home button to go back to your home screen then we swipe down at the top here and tap on the power button then power off the device next you can go to the website sun mobile and we're going to check with your phone model number so you can go into the settings in about uh, settings in there you should be able to find your model number you want to download the correct model number so in here in the firmware my device is sm g 998b and that is the galaxy s 20 ultra or the s 21 ultra so you can see at the moment this is the s 21 ultra so you want to make sure that you download the correct um, firmware okay so once you have select the correct model number which is the sm g 998b is for the galaxy s 20 ultra so depending if you have the ultra the plus or just the standard version so select the correct model number and then in the list here go down and open up the country or the region that you're in so for example if you're in italy you want to click on italy so select the correct country you can also try to use the search function to look for it so at the moment there is only one here is United Kingdom so I can use that one as well so I can click on United Kingdom and even if I'm not in the same country or in the same region I still can download this firmware and it will still work on my device so we're going to click on that and then download the firmware now while you're in here you can also download Odin as well you need to download Odin so you can click on download Odin on this side and you want to download Odin uh, from the website okay so after you have download the files into your computer uh, so there should be two files one is the zip file which is your firmware and the other one is Odin I have already uh, decompressed Odin so you can see here I have already extracted the folder out here this one here if you double click on it you'll be able to uh, extract the file so you can go in here and then simply just drag them onto the folder so I have already done that ahead of time and you can see there are five files in here so the AP, BLCP, CSC and home CSC so we're going to need to use these files later on in Odin okay so in Odin I'm going to launch Odin okay we're just going to wait for Odin to load up from the computer and then click on OK okay at the moment you can see it is blank and that is because it's um, in waiting mode it's waiting for us to connect the Galaxy S 20 Ultra to the computer okay so now we need to put the device into download mode and we're going to use this USB cable so have the other end of the cable connect to the computer then on your Galaxy S 20 Ultra you want to press on the volume up and volume down keys so press on both keys and hold okay so press on both keys and hold and then we're going to plug in the cable to go into download mode and here you should see it will go into download mode and at this point let go of the keys and say press on the volume up key to go into download mode so press on the volume up key okay now you're in download mode now in Odin you should see the, the application will start to detect that your phone and will show zero com for and it's a device has been added so it has detected that detected that the device has been added to the computer and on the right hand side there are all the different um, checkbox here that we need to populate the files into so you can see here at the moment it's got bl okay so the first one is the bl file so we can either click on bl and then we can select it or we can drag it in so I'm just going to drag it in to make it easier so here I can drag it in and drop into the box right there okay so first we have add in the BL file next we're going to add in the AP file so drag it in and drop into the box AP okay so we just going to wait for this to finish first 
before we can go ahead and drag it in. So double check on the lock uh, text box over here. It says please wait. So we're going to wait for this to finish first. Once it's ready, we can then drag on the, the AP files into this uh, text box right here. Okay, next for CP file, we're going again, we're going to drag in the CP file. So CP and drag into the CP text box right here. And we're just going to wait for that to finish. Okay, it's already finished. Next one is the CSC. This um, file is quite important. You want to choose home underscore CSC. Now by choosing home underscore CSC, we are choosing to keep the data. So all of your data on your device will stay intact. You will not lose any data such as photos, logs, apps, everything will stay the same. So make sure that you choose this option if you want to keep everything stays the same. If you want to erase everything and start all over fresh, then you choose the CSE underscore OXM. So do not choose this option if you want to keep your data. So remember to choose home underscore CSE, okay? Okay, so now that it's done, then uh, the next step is to check the options. Make sure that you do not um, select anything. F, we set time, should be selected. So leave everything as the default. Do not change anything in here. Uh, you do not need to do anything at this point. All you have to do is click on the start button. Okay, so now let's begin. We click on the start button and take a look here. So click on start. Okay, over here you can see it's trying to do something. And up here there is a progress bar. And immediately you can see there is also a progress bar on the device. And the progress bar here and on the device should be the same. So the update process has begun. Okay, so during the update process, please do not disconnect the USB cable. Doing so, you can break your device. Okay, once it has finished, you can see it said all threads completed. Succeed one and fail zero, so that is a good sign. And you should be able to see your device will reboot several times during this update process. Okay, so the phone rebooted and say finishing system update. Now if I go into about phone and I go down to, so I'm just trying to get a focus. Okay, so we go down to software information. And you can see here, we have now successfully updated the Galaxy S20 Ultra to Android version 12 with One UI version 4.0. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Now this whole process should take you between 15 to 20 minutes to complete. Thank you.